Hey yo, what to do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka hey, MR10, and what I got for you today is some more NBA 2K23 next gen. More specifically, what I have for you today happens to be the best Jalen Green build you will find on NBA 2K23 next gen. And just like the man himself, this thing is a bucket when it comes to contact dunks that are somewhat out of this gym, the ability to shoot a three ball at an efficient clip, obviously a quick first step, and defensively it can guard up at the perimeter as well as, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of an ability to crash the glass getting the passing lanes a little and obviously swap some shots and then athletically the build is fast now i do gotta say before we get into the breakdown for this build shout out to samuel he is helping me out with these videos and shout out to all of you for all the support you've been showing to the channel it is highly appreciated we are currently on the road to 1600 subscribers which is why as i always gotta say if you like today's video and you want to see more content like this do me a favor go ahead and hit that like button don't forget to drop a comment tell me what you think about the build whether you like it or hate it also drop a comment tell me what build you want to see next don't forget to share the video because it helps with the youtube algorithm and if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turn post notice on Fun fact, dropping a comment also helps with the YouTube algorithm, so if you got time, do that as well. But yeah, also actually, filling it with another fun fact. This Jalen Green build was found by mistake. It was made whilst we were trying to make the Zach Levine build, right? That is on my list of to-do. We are still working on that and Penny Hardaway. We have managed to get those two by mistake when we were trying to make builds. I say by mistake. I'm not too sure about Zach Levine, but I know we got Penny Hardaway in the shades of by mistake once or twice or a few times. But getting Zach Levine in the shades of is proven damn near impossible, but we will get it done somehow. Now, as most of you know, Jalen Green is the starting shooting guard for the Houston Rockets. And he currently wears the jersey number. Hold on, I actually got to check this out because I'm not too sure myself. Jersey number four. Okay, say less. Right-handed jersey number four. Uh, <laughs> I just had to make sure I was right before I put a random number down. High wise he does come in at 6 foot 4 and weighs 186 pounds which makes him on the smaller frame side and then has a wingspan of, a wingspan? Wingspan of about 6 foot 8 and body shape wise I'd go with something between slight and defined most likely actually I know what I'd go with I'd go with compact because he does look kind of defined but at the same time he is hella skinny now first things first with any Jalen Green build first thing you got to do is you got to get that gold posterizer because the boy can bounce out the gym and from the highlight mixtape Samuel made me watch he can really bang it on people a lot harder than I thought he could pause uh, vertical, we decided to go with an 85 because he is under six foot five. Therefore, he has the capability of getting small contact dunks. In which case, you do got to go for that 85 vert to get small, pro, elite, and of course, beautiful contact dunks. And then when it comes to the stamina, decided to go with the good old number of an 88 because this is a shooting guard build, so you won't have the ball in your hands at all times, but you'll have it in your hands enough times that you will need a little bit of stamina. And then when it came to the speed, decided to go with an 81, split the XL up to an 84. Again, I do got to ask, what speed do you run on the build you use right now? Because that 70 speed with a max XL split is still in my head and I'm trying to figure out whether that's the right thing to do. Now to round up the finishing, we decided to go with an 86 when it came to the driving layup as well as an 85 when it came to the close shot. This was because we were trying to get 22 total bash points on this year build. And of course, we were aiming to get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Aerial Wizard Pro Touch to pair alongside with Gold, Fast Twitch, Posterizer, Limitless Takeoff, Slithery Finisher, Acrobat, and Fearless Finisher. Now, if it were me, as I'll always say, I would most likely core limitless takeoff, get posterized, get fast twitch, get aerial wizard, and then probably slap on giant slayer as well, which would give you a total so far of 20 total badge points used up. And then with the last two, you can easily slap them onto something in the lower tiers, most likely like masher. Now, the next part of the game to mess with happened to be the shooting side of it. He's not the best shooter in the league, but he's decent enough. So we decided to give him an 81 when it came to the three ball because this does allow you to get gold catch and shoot. And then when it came to the mid range, decided to give him a 78 just to make sure that his the build was respectable on the inside. We didn't go really high with the shooting just because his percentages are awfully low and the mid range one, honestly, I would have put it a little bit lower, but we wanted to put it at a decent enough clip that you could shoot with tireless, not tireless, amped because as you know, this reduces the penalty for fatigue on when uh, this reduces the penalty that fatigue has on a player and their ability to make shots and we wanted you to be able to get that which again you need a mid-range of at least an 78 or an 82 three ball to get it but we want a 78 key thing about the mid-range being so low is the boy shoots only about seven only about eight percent of his shots uh mid-range jump shots so we decided to keep that kind of low free throw decided to go with a 75 because again you might want to take this build into the wreck or the program in which case you wanted to be able to knock down free throws as you can see you do finish with 20 total shooting bash points which is gives you a decent split when it comes to shooting and then playmaking wise we decided to go with an 89 when it came to the speed with ball another person who has a really fast 
you know what I'm saying, quick first step. When it came to the speed of the ball, decided to go to 76, and when it came to the pass accuracy, decided to go to 79, allowing us the grand capability of getting 21 total playmaking badge points. Good thing being, we can get gold dimer, not dimer, sir, floor general, hyperdrive, unpluckable, killer combos, and clamp breaker. Me, personally speaking, I might slap plus three on, not plus three, you don't need plus three on this build. I would core killer combo, slap on clamp breaker, hyperdrive, unpluckable, quick first step, and then the other ones are up to you and how you're gonna split them. Now, to round that build up, we decided to go on the defensive side of the ball where we gave him some respectable numbers. First off with a 79, not a 99, not a 90. 79 perimeter defense, 78 on the steal because it allows us to get that silver interceptor. When it came to the block, decided to give him a 59 because it allows you to get silver chase on artist. And with an 85 vertical, you will be able to get up and contest quite a few of these shots. And then when it came to the rebounding, decided to give him a 66 when it came to the defensive rebound. And then when it came to the offensive, decided to go with a 48. But obviously I messed something up because as you can see, this is a little bit too high. The strength's meant to be at a 36 and then obviously the offensive rebound's meant to be up at a 48. As you can see, this does allow you to finish with 17 total defensive badge points. Me personally speaking, I would do something along the lines of coring interceptor, putting on clamps, and then I split the rest between the lower tiers, most likely getting ankle braces and maybe off ball pests just because again, you are the two guard. And also, I don't like to run challenges sometimes just because it only works at the perimeter. Now, as you can see, we did finish with 17 total defensive match points, 21 playmaking, 20 shooting, and 22 finishing, meaning we finished with a grand total of 80 total match points on this build. And once you do get the plus four for playing some of my career games, that allows you to get a grand total of 84 total match points on this year Jalen Green build. Now, when it comes to the takeovers, very first one, I'd go finishing moves. Uh, after what I saw from this boy, I'd go finishing moves because he just has an ability to really just get at people that way. And then for the secondary take, I'd probably go something along the lines of, I'd go spot up precision just because it provides a significant boost to well-timed stationary jump shots. And you might find yourself taking quite a few of those. I'm not sure how many of you really shoot off the dribble. A lot of you shoot catch and shoots, so I'd go spot up precision. Now, as you can see, the players that we managed to get in the shades of for this build happened to be Bradley Beal, Manu Ginobili, and of course, Jalen Green. Now the build name's a little bit, you know what I'm saying, because it says we're an inside out shot creator, which is kind of true, but I was hoping for something like athletic finishing shooter or some sh because this build is something special. But hey, let me know what you think about the build down below in the comments because I am really interested to know your opinions. If you liked today's video and you want to see more content like it, don't forget to do me a favor and hit that like button. And also, if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on. And drop a comment telling me what build you want to see next. I am still working on Zach Levine and Penny Hardaway with Samuel. It's just we're having a hard time with these. But yeah, it's been your boy Alvin MV10, aka AMR10. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.